One of my favorite mods in Farming Simulator is the 75C. When I first converted the 75C for 19, I mentioned there were more things I wanted to do to it to bring it up to speed for 19. And so I've been working on a 2.0 version of the 75C here on the left. I thought a cool way to show you guys the work I've been doing would be to do a before and after. So the right side is the 1.0 that's out in the community and the left side here is the new 2.0. One of the things you'll notice on the 1.0 is the tracks are very plastic and shiny. For 2.0 I U-dim them into rubber so it looks a lot more realistic. To show some of the issues with the 1.0, let's jump inside. One of the things you'll notice right away is there's a crack there in the bottom left part of the cab and you can see out of the cab. It's minor but it's still kind of ugly. Then over here on the right the control panels are flickering under certain light conditions. There's multiple transforms in there and it's causing the materials to look funky so I've done some work to fix that you'll see in the 2.0 shortly. The back window the camera's clipping through so you can see a line there diagonal as the camera's moving through the window so I've adjusted that. Another big issue is the seat looks like a giant stone I don't know who would want to sit on that but from the outside it's very noticeable that it's low polygonal and so while you're rotating the camera around doing work with the 75C it just takes away some of its charm. Inside the dashboard you'll notice that there's circles where gauges are supposed to be but there's no gauges in them. The steering wheel is also very low polygonal. It looks very chunky as well as it's got some purpley color tint to it the RPM speed needle there, RPM needle is off when you fire it up. The digital readout's right but the needle jumps way up to what would be like 4000 RPM at idle which isn't realistic. And then when it's fired up if you turn the lights on you'll notice low working lights there's only a front headlight on the ground there to the right side shining on the cement you don't get the other left side until you go to high beams then you get the other side so I fixed the lighting there are also multiple errors inside the log that were missed a couple of errors related to the tran to a transform group and distance to ground so I fixed those as well I think that kind of covers a lot of the issues that were found with 1.0 and I've spent a lot of time working the inside of the 2.0 and fixing those issues so we can jump inside. So this is the inside of 2.0. You'll see I've put a brand new steering wheel that's got a lot more polygons in it and looks a lot smoother, has rubber grips. The other big thing you'll notice right away is I've put all new gauges into 2.0 all of them are functioning and I'll cover what they are so let's start it I'll put the camera there and uh, we'll look straight down at the dashboard with the camera and I move the steering wheel to the right so when I fire it up you'll notice the bottom left gauge is the fuel gauge if I kill it you'll see the needle jumps to red I fire it up got there the next gauge up from the fuel on the left side is the hydraulic temperature. The one on the very top is the engine temperature and the one on the right over there is the oil pressure and then the bottom right is the battery so if we kill it again the bottom right side the battery isn't getting a reading but we start it the battery gets a reading. The right side I've pulled in new control knobs so that they're not low res any longer as well as you dim the control panel it's still pretty plain but at least now it doesn't flicker under different lighting conditions I've also you dimmed the seat so you have leather handles and actual fabric on the seat cushions 
Another thing people complained about were the windows were getting too dirty. So I've removed the amount of dirt and we'll actually go out. I have one in the field I've been cultivating with. We'll go out and look at what it looks like when the windows are starting to get dirty now with 2.0. So I've updated that. And that pretty much covers the new features. Another thing I've done on the back is I've opened up the rotation for attached implements. So you can turn a little bit tighter now. Just make sure that you don't jackknife any of your implements. Let's jump out to the field. And here's the one I've been cultivating with that's dirty. So this is 2.0 with dirt. And you'll notice the windows now, it's still not completely dirty. This is probably 70% dirt, but the windows now get dirty from the bottom up. And we'll go take a pass, and you guys can take a pass with me. So you'll notice the inside there, the RPMs, the needles now accurate, and there's actual numbers to map to the RPM. You still have the digital readout RPM, but you have a needle one now as well, gauge. And you can see the steering wheel there and the gauges. The floor is a little bit scratchy and dirty. That's an older metal look. I went for that just because this would have been used a bit. And if you look at the windows from the inside, depending on how the lighting's hitting, you can see. But as this gets more and more dirty, we'll have it cake the dirt onto the windows, but not in a way that it gets in your view. I agree with a lot of people who said the dirt was way too much. That wasn't one that I had originally done. That was part of what got converted on the 1.0. So I took some time to I took some time to clean that up. I kept most of the other settings. The wearable, it still is wearable. But you'll notice now inside with the dirt on the windows, the inside staying clean, you get a little bit of dirt where the door opens and closes and you're walking through there. And the seat now through the cab looks a lot more realistic. It doesn't look like a giant stone block that you're sitting on. The tracks, also the new UDEM tracks, are very... Uh, the specular material that states where the dirt should be is very well done around the middle of the tracks. So you get a much more realistic look on the tracks with the dirt. I get up here, I'll swing around and we can look at the tightening turn. It's been loosened now, so that was an issue with 1.0 and I've loosened that up a bit. I'll look for feedback from the community. We could loosen a little bit more, but there's some implements that I think will be very easy to jackknife if it's too loose. I think on 1.0 you could get to about right there maybe, where now with 2.0 you can go quite a bit deeper on your turn and you'll notice it's still not hooking. And yeah, so I just wanted to spend a little bit more time, get the 75C in a little bit better state, address some of the issues that were out there in the community. And I'll be releasing this probably in the next couple of days to my YouTube channel and to all my subscribers who give me feedback and support the work that I'm doing. If any of you have feedback, 
definitely let me know and if it warrants it maybe there'll be a another version that I release later on and the best way to support my work is just subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to follow what I'm doing I push out videos as I've got the work done and and the mods are ready thanks